when you have a Facebook, a LinkedIn, and a Twitter, I know that not everybody wants to have all of those and they don't want to actually post to them. You can, like she said, you can actually link them. You can link your Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn so that they're all posting the same thing. Like, say, if you posted one of your blog posts there, it would go to all three. Now, uh, there's actually a school of thought that you should put something different on each social media. Some people don't want to do that, so they actually do link them off, they're all going. But either way, all three of those will actually promote your website because they're all linked back to your website. And Google sees it, it's trying to see it as like a whole um, sphere of influence and your website actually has a lot to do with your Facebook, your LinkedIn, and your Twitter, and it all makes you rank better in the ranking. So I wanted to go with Facebook, what she was saying, because a lot of people, if you don't have a Facebook fan page, you're like, how do I get people to like me? Well, if you start out with a personal page, you know, like I started out with a personal page, you bought it backwards, then you start getting more and more people, more and more friends, right? Um, the personal page doesn't rank on Google, whereas the Facebook fan page will. When people are searching for you, they can actually find your fan page. But you have to have a lot of people like you, so you start off with your personal page, you get a lot of friends, you build your fan page, and then you ask everyone to like your fan page. So now you have two or three hundred people that like your fan page, whereas before it would have been hard to get people to like you, and you can't get it out there very easily. So you start off with that. Um, Another thing is, everybody in this room probably has a fan page or a Facebook page. If you, uh, Google actually looks for an algorithm, Facebook does too, if a certain amount of people like you or comment, they actually move you up into that news feed. You know how you have a news feed? Um, so if you see people that you know, like in the NCABW or your BNI group or your chamber, if you will like or comment on them, then uh, you'll be able to move them up in the new seat on both your sites, so it helps everybody. Sorry, that's got nervous. <laughs> um, let's see, because there is an algorithm for Facebook that has to do with how many people like you, how many people comment, how many people like your site and everything. So, um, well, you, you do know the difference between a personal and a fan page, right? I mean, because one of them you like and one of them you have friends. Uh, there are some things that people don't do correctly on Facebook. They do the personal page rather than the fan page. Like I said, you can start off with the personal page, but you want to go to a fan page to rank on Google. You want to not turn off your wall post. You want anybody to be able to comment. Of course, you want to be able to control those. You can go on there and get rid of people that are saying things you don't want to say, or sometimes people put pictures on there you don't want to see on your, <laughs> your fan page. So. You kind of want to be able to get rid of them. Like um, she said, you want to be able to update that business page two or three times a day. Sometimes you want to be able to go on a Saturday. I know Saturdays nobody wants to do it, but some people in their business, they cannot look at social media pages during the week. I don't know if some companies stop you from doing that, so they're going to get on on a Saturday. So you want to post some stuff on a Saturday as well. You definitely, like I said, want to be on Facebook. You want to have the fan page no matter what. So, there's a couple of other social media sites, or a few that people don't use. Um, there's Reddit. Uh, you can upload stories and articles. There's Dig. Um, when I first started my business, I started a blog, which Janet's going to talk about in a minute. But blogs are really good for search engine optimization. But you're not your page. Whenever say I go to optimize a page, it takes two to three to six months for you to be on the first page of Google. Well, you can take your blog posts and you can dig them. Anybody heard of dig? Dig.com, right? You put them on dig, and those pages, those Reddit pages, those dig pages, you put them in delicious and stumble upon, they all will rank on the first page of Google before your page, your website will ever rank. So, you know, you can. I had blog posts all over dig before I ever had a page up there. So, anytime that you have something to say on your blog or your website or anything, Go ahead and dig in. Yes. Dig 1G or 2G. Two. 2G. Two mm -hmm. <laughs> in fact, I will, if you want, you can email me or I can pass around an email list. If you sign up, I can send you all oh my stuff. It's too much to print out. I mean, I have some. I have things on like Dig, Twitter. I have actually 50 social media social bookmarking sites. Some of them are good for B2C, some of them are good for B2B. You know, it just depends. 
like I said, like Facebook is good for B2C. If you're actually trying to reach customers, it's better. LinkedIn is better for B2B if you're trying to reach businesses. However, all of them help you rank, you know, your website rank better. So you want to do all of them, but some of you want to concentrate on more. You also, like on LinkedIn, you want to find some groups because what happens is, um, okay, like me, whenever I, if I do optimization, so a good group for me are people that own computer repair services. Because if I can join all those groups, anybody that's out there, people are saying, uh, do you do websites? They say no, and they know me, so they say, okay, and then somebody that does. So not only do they have somebody they can refer to, and I can give them a referral fee, but I can join these groups, and they know about me, and they can start. I've actually gotten business off of LinkedIn from companies that didn't even know who I was. But they can see that I had posted things on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has a thing, a photo Yahoo called Answers. Have you ever seen LinkedIn Answers? If you can actually go into LinkedIn or Yahoo Answers and answer questions that pertain to your business, you seem like a, an authority to uh, for what you do. So people start seeing you, they start saying you're answering these questions, and they realize that you know what you're talking about, and they want to get in contact with you if they have a question or if they know somebody that needs your services. So there's a lot of ways to get out there and get your name out there so people can see you as an authority on what we do. Um, uh, whenever we do optimization, we do for everybody delicious dig and uh, stumble upon. We also use um, a site called DMOZ. It's very difficult to get in DMOZ, but if you can link your business in there, it works really well as far as optimization. YouTube is always good. Video, press releases, uh, all that's really good for optimization. Uh, anything you do, anytime, even on your Facebook page, if you will put an, an image, every blog post you, you put out needs to have an image or a video. Because you can't, nobody finds it. If you just type something up there in your little, I guess your status or whatever, some people will see, but they'll always look at an image, they'll always look at a video. So it's always better to have that instead. Um, you can even, when I go into blogging, you can even do video blogs. You don't have to have a, I mean, you can, a lot of times you can have a professional video, and you will want a professional video, like say on the home page of your website. When you actually do a blog, you can do just a regular camera. You need a, of course you need a tripod because you don't want it doing this. But people like to see you like you are, not a professional take. If you're talking about what you're doing, if you have a certain amount of enthusiasm about what you do, they can see it. I've actually put a video or had a professional video done on a website. And people would say, I want to talk about me on the video. Because <laughs> he's, so, he's so enthusiastic about what he does, and he's talking about it, and they're like, I know he knows what he does, and I want to see him. So it does work. Press releases, we can do those online as well. I say you have one released in print. We can take that same press release and plaster the, the web with it video as well. There are several video sites besides YouTube. You can plaster the web, or I guess you wouldn't say spam the web, but you can get a whole page full of videos. You know, the first page of Google. So, let's see. Um, and we do LinkedIn. You know, there's 60 million members on LinkedIn, so it's a really good way to get business. Um, a new member joins approximately every second, and there are 500 executives from all the Fortune 500 you know, members are on there. It's also a good way to find jobs. I mean, now there's a lot of social media sites where you can find a job if you don't want to promote your own business. Uh, I said you want to create a personal account, and then you want to use keywords. Every time you do anything, whether it's on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, you always want to use keywords that pertain to your business. Like mine, I would be using search engine optimization, the woodlands, or SEO, the woodlands, or um, Facebook marketing the Woodlands. Anytime you're talking about something, you want to use those keywords because when people are searching for those, you want to be able to rank in those websites. You want your Facebook up there, your dig up there, your blog, your website. Everything just kind of plastered up there that has to do with you. Then you look like an authority for what you do. And um, I've had several people have called me and they say, well, I recognize that name because I saw it on Facebook and that's why I called you. So you actually start branding yourself that way. I mean, it's always good to get other people to like um, promotional products, logos, everything, but you're branding yourself by putting yourself out there and people start recognizing the name. Um, I want to go into Twitter a little bit. There is a Twitter page. You can actually go to business.twitter.com and it will tell you a lot about what you can do with Twitter with your business. 
I get more people following me on Twitter than I do Facebook. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But people like the Twitter. And um, you can quickly share information. Like say you have something going on, an event or anything. You can share it and it, and it actually goes, just like Facebook, all over the web. Um, you, you also have to build relationships. Just like Facebook, you're wanting to build relationships. You're not wanting to talk about yourself all the time. You're wanting to talk about your industry. You want to talk about things that are going in your business. Something's not personal. I want to see that you have a voice or have a personality or a charisma. Um, you're not always just promoting yourself because that kind of turns people off and they end up not being your friend anymore. You want to add a picture when you do your Twitter you know, account. You want a picture. You want to be able to listen because you want to be able to monitor things that are going on in your industry and kind of give some feedback. I mean, some things that are really no answers for, but if you can get a conversation going, that always lets people know that you know what you're talking about and that um, it gets them interested in what you do. Uh, you want to respond to people. You can actually re reward people. You can do special offers, both on Facebook and Twitter. I mean, there's a lot of ways on Facebook to add some pages, you can add a welcome page that when somebody doesn't like you yet, it goes to a certain page. If after they like you, it goes to a different page. Uh, you can actually do offers on Facebook. There's a lot of different ways to put images up there and offers. It's just, it's code like anything else, and um, it has to be coded. But if you if you search for pretty much anything on Google, you will find out how to do it yourself. You don't have to get somebody to do it for you. I mean, it's easier to get somebody sometimes, but you can always do it. Um, you want, like I said, the right voice. You want people to know that you care about them, it's a relationship. You are building a relationship just like you do in any kind of networking event, so that people know who you are and what you stand for. Um, I have handouts for all for the Twitter, and I'll pass that out in the mouth. Really. So, you want me to pass them out for you? But I don't, they're right there. I don't have handouts for everything, it was just too much to print out. So, how many of you have a blog? Any of you do blogging? Buying <laughs> <Okay. laughs> is actually really good for SEO. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're putting stuff out there regularly. Um, my son has a blog. Um, he started for his business, and he gets probably 15,000 hits a week. Wow. That's a tremendous amount of traffic. Mm -hmm. He actually ends up getting a lot of business and another job from the blog. But what happens is he, he first starts blogging to nobody, which is kind of because you know you're blogging, nobody's listening. But as you start blogging people and it's something interesting, people they start putting content on your site. Um, when you actually do a blog, you want it to say and you say your URL. Like mine is jacksworks.com slash blog. You don't want it to say blogspot or wordpress.com because it's not actually going to your site, it's not optimizing your site. So it's, you can start out putting stuff on there two or three times a week. There are ways if you get a WordPress blog that you can say sit down on Sunday and set up five blogs so Monday to Monday through Friday without having to blog every day. But if you want your site, see the first page of Google that really is the best way to do it. To blog, to get people coming to your site, commenting. At first, you may want to turn off comments because you won't really have anybody commenting and like nobody's reading it. At some point in the future, when you're getting like 750 people a week hitting that blog, then you want to start turning on comments and having them comment on that site. Those comments also will move you up in the rankings as well.